Framer doesn't have a native Lightbox gallery component, but here is a solution. You can use this component to add a photo gallery to your website. With this component, you can add images or videos to your Lightbox gallery and you can fully customize it. Also, you can switch between two modes, horizontal mode and a standard grid mode. This component is super easy to set up and if you want to get it, the link will be in the description below. Hi, my name is Sergey. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that and like the video if you like it. And now let's go to Framer and see how to add a Lightbox component. All right, so this is uh, the preview page that I've built and you can check out how it works. For example, I can click on the image and you can see that it zooms in and zooms out uh, and I can close it and I can open another uh, picture. Actually, this is the video and then I can like go through different images uh, and see um, them in full screen. And this is another way to add. So basically this is uh, the horizontal a selection and this is the uh, grid mode and also you can customize all the uh, paddings inside uh, but let's add a component to our project and see how to customize it so basically what you will do you will need to copy um, the lightbox gallery component uh, from uh, this remix that the link will be in the description below and you go to your page and you just copy it over here. So I just copied it. And since I already had images linked, I can uh, unclean them uh, for now, remove all. So and I will have this component inside of my uh, page. Uh, let's create a tablet and a phone version right away. So how the component works, uh, basically it works as a ticker. All you need to do, you need to link the images and videos to this component and they will be added. So really easy. And they can be different sizes. As you can see, this one is horizontal. These ones are squares. Uh, also, you can add round corners, uh, just like a regular image. So nothing else here. Uh, and this is going to be our grid version, but let's look at the horizontal mode first. So here you can see that six images are linked. Also the video, you can like move it around. Um, also, this is the layout. We have horizontal right now and we can switch to vertical uh, or I mean to a grid. But let's play around with horizontal first. We can change the gap here. So like this. Um, alignment is from the start, so paddings from the top, you can also change them here on the bottom. So basically all the paddings are customizable. Uh, also, when we open the image, uh, we can see that it has a green background. That's because I used a green light box background here, but I can make it, for example, this pink. And the gallery background can be something like, like this, light gray. And when I open it, yep, you see it's gray, light gray background inside of the uh, component. And when I click on the image, now I have the um, pink background inside of my light box. Zoom also works. I can like zoom in and zoom out and close it. Uh, another thing what you can do, you can change the buttons next and previous buttons and also close buttons. So basically you can customize uh, the design of these icons that are here. Also, uh, as you can see, there is an, a hover state. Um, for that, you will need an extra uh, icon. Uh, that's it's gonna be your hover icon. So it's right here, so they're like separate. Um, so now let's duplicate it. Let's remove the images, remove all. And let's add uh, another images from here. Oops. I will speed up this process so uh, you're not gonna have to wait. All right, so I added all the images here. As you can see, we're not able to see them all, right? Because it's in horizontal mode. Let's go to grid. 
and now we have a grid. Uh, let's change this to fit. Now we have a grid. Here we can change the amount of columns. I want to have three and we can change the gap between the images. For example, let's leave it at uh, 20. And now uh, what we can do, we can uh, change the grid alignment uh, because for example, right now it starts from the left, uh, but I want it to have it in the center. So I'll put the center and now it's centered. And also I want to change the background to black. And when I go to preview mode, you see it's right in the center. Um, I can change the paddings again uh, to make them all the same. For example, it's going to be 40 because currently it's not, it's not the same. And for left one, it's going to be 40 as well. So currently it's centered. And the cool thing is that when I go to tablet here, I can change it to two, uh, two columns. And for the uh, mobile, of course, I will change it to one column. Uh, and now let's play. And yeah, when I open the image, whoops, when I open the image, yeah, you see the background is pink. Uh, also, please pay attention that the image is not the full height of the viewport. That's because uh, I have set 80% here. So this is the parameter here, 80%. We can change it to a hundred. And now I will have an image that opens that opens to a uh, should open for a full height but i guess it doesn't open because th the image itself is smaller than my viewport so you will need to have a larger image to get it um for your screen uh, so basically this is the maximum so this is 100 percent. but just for you to understand how it works let's put 30 and when I play, it should be like really small right now. Yeah, here you see it's really small. Um, yeah, so that's it. So basically, this is the uh, the size of the image. So the hundred percent is the full size uh, for the viewport and the image. But uh, since my images are not that big, um, we're not seeing them. Also, the interesting thing is that uh, you see when I open the image, it is in full ratio uh, 16 by 9 because the image itself is 16 by 9 uh, so uh, it's a rectangle but here uh, we can see that it is a square so it doesn't matter uh, what what size or what um, shape is the preview a preview uh, the image will be opened in full um, full ratio and full aspect so if it's, just, it's going to be a rectangle image, it's going to be a rectangle in the, um, in the light box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. Uh, and like the video if you like it. And don't forget to get the component. The link will be in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.